Hello everybody, this is Ruler of Ice and welcome to Let's Play Valley. Now this is a game that I've been wanting to play for a long time actually, despite the reviews it got. And you probably noticed that I have a face camera on me. Hello! I bought this camera a few weeks ago. It was quite cheap, actually. You can probably s see it from the quality of the video itself. Anyway... This game... I don't know what to expect from this game. I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, without further ado... Let's start. Select a gender. Oh man. <laughs> man. The life seed is said to contain an incredible earth shattering power. While mostly written off as myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Um. Am I on Earth or some other planet then? I'm going to presume Earth. I hope the camera is, by the way, recording well there. Because I'm actually in a dark room and I noticed that the camera does light up, light the room up a bit. And I have a window there from which light can come inside and it might get... I don't know how to dim it. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. So I am... So I am on Earth, then. Well, I'm starting on... Off on a... Strange place, actually. A cavern? Remote region. Canadian Rockies. I'm on Cavern. I'm in Canada? Useless disc and canoeing lessons. Was that my thought? Oh, that. Oh, useless canoeing lessons. <laughs> yeah, I guess it didn't. Wow. Wow. This is actually quite beautiful. Water looks good, too. Guess I move forward. This is a big cavern. Ruins? Cave drawings? Where the hell am I? Oh, that! What is that? It looks like a beetle or something. Can't examine it. And those pillars do... They do... Suggest that there's a ruin here. Hmm? 
What is that? Another droid. I don't. I can't. I don't know what it depicts. Hmm. The sun is absolutely beautiful here. The entire environment is beautiful here. Wow! Just wow! Just whoa, Valley. Can I jump? No, I can't. What was that sound? I heard something. At least I think I heard something. What is that? What is that? That's not natural light. This is not natural light. What is this? No thoughts about it? There was a bill. What? What are those? Ghosts? Creatures? This is on Earth, right? What are those creatures? Actually, supposed to be. What is this place? How hard did I hit my head? Good question. Hmm. That doesn't look like any mushroom I know. Then again, I don't know many mushrooms. Wait, is this a base? An old army truck must have crashed here ages ago. Oh, that was loud. Looks like a mechanical suit. Leaf suit. A knowledge video. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed leaf suit as our hard working scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the leaf suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air, sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are all part of the many stunts accomplished by the Leaf Suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important
important intelligence, hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. When was this made? Cool. Leaf suit, huh? Oh no, I can jump. Let's see what sound this old audio is. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. A life seed actually exists. Whoa, I have a body. Cargo Manifest, July 29, 1945. These are old. What's the current year then? The following items are to be stored securely at the Sector 6 storage and handling facility. One leaf suit belonging to Private First Class Edwin Hall. Oh, this is supposed to be his suit then. Twenty audio recording reels belonging to Virginia King. Of which one I just heard, I presume. Three bundles of documentation. Okay, and I have an objective too. What if I go back right now? What would happen? Would anything happen? Is that a writing? I oh, don't know. Whoa! Didn't expect to actually. I'm on to that. How did this truck crash here? Access tunnel A. So there's a base here. And a map too. When when to go late? Military I presume that's a wind. That's wind. Archaeological dig site. Search for the life seed near the dig site. Oh, I'm heading to where A is. Where am I then? Tunnel access. There's no tunnel access here. No face dig site. Oh, thank you. Whoa, I am fast. And I can drop high great heights too, safely. Archaeological excavation site. Dicks are located northeast on trail. Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Oh, so there's a speed thing here. Whoa, whoa. I'm so fast. I am so fast. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing things with this. This is so nice. 
energy stored within the leaf suit, known as Amrita, can be given to once living things. Like that tree? Use left mouse button to shoot life energy towards dead trees or animals. Okay, so I can uh, use it eight times, apparently. And I'm out of energy. Collect enough acorns to gain access through certain ancient doors. Ancient doorways? What do you mean by that? Can I take it out? No, I can't. Oh, there's a dead deer here. Pathfinder access only. Leaf says must be more. Okay. How can I just get more energy? There are a lot of dead things here. That's too high. Unless I can actually climb that. Oh, okay, I get it. That's why I Pathfinder access only. Touch an orb to absorb its energy. Also, that's what they are. That's what they are. Let's go back. I actually want to go back. Oh, and they respawn too. They actually respawn. Oh, whoops. Just this whole suit is like playing God. I get to determine who lives and who dies. I didn't even notice that. Oh, I didn't even notice those. Oh, no, no, no. I presume I can't go into the water. And I have five acorns now. Is there actually any more? That didn't like it. So, let's continue. Towards the dick side. I'm looking at the clock above me. Alright, let's run. Oh, 
Oh, it actually depletes whether I hit or miss. I saw that. This kind of suit would actually solve a lot of problems. Oh, acorns too. Any more acorns here? Just making sure I don't miss. So I have eight shots. Oh. <laughs> I can shoot very far away too. Can I shoot? No. actually check can I actually shoot it does turn green probably can't actually shoot from here even if I could so let's continue So far, this game feels amazing. I still presume that I have to stay out of the water. and uh, get some light. Okay, I was right. I have to stay off the water. Leaves is a very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. Okay. That makes sense. Do I have infinite lights, by the way? be taken from nearby living things rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish your suit. This role as life forms such as blades of grass provide no value. Okay, but... I don't want to! Why would I take life? I'd only take life if it meant getting out of a situation. So blue ball means I can take a life. It does have it does have some range, some sort of range. This beam, no face dig side. All right. There was, by the way, a path over there. It rewards acorns whenever I heal, huh? Alright, I guess I'm here. Find a way through the ancient ruins. What is this? Seems like 
these fireflies react to energy. Okay. What does that have to do with me? The army calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Sussurus. It's just the that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sussurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, that they predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Hmm. I can uh, seemingly take life from those too. But I really don't want to take life. I really don't. Why would I ever do that? Except to escape something. Apparently, fireflies open doors. Just checking. I'll continue on. Those are some very bright and big fireflies. Use E to open crates. Those, huh? Energy upgrade. Energy capacity is increased with capacity with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. Oh, okay, so I can do that too. Note from a pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We are natural predators to them at all. I guess so. So I have to keep an eye on those. What is that other thing on the top left? Beside the, next to the acorn. What is that? Okay, I got a third bar now. Now I can shoot 12 energies. So far this game feels easy. What kind of civilization actually lived here? That's a very creepy... door. If that is a door. to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home's gonna want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. These kind of suits would actually solve a lot of things. There were all kinds of crazy theories back in those days. All kinds of conspiracy theories. That looks like... Those actually look like hot dogs. <laughs> And no, it actually looks like are those humans or birds. The third one looks like it has small wings. 
weeks. I have to keep reminding myself that I have metal feet under me. I need a third one? Huh, where do I find a third one? A medallion? These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Okay, and another acorn. So far I haven't seen any of those gates you mentioned. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. Falling momentum. Oh. Oh, like those. Okay. But let's see first if there's anything in here. There is. How do I get there? Like so. Easy. More acorns. A medallion. It always pays to be vigilant. Always look around before proceeding. If it is possible to actually see something around you. Oh, I'm sliding. Soldiers pining leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionality. Oh, that's what leaf means! Are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour. Wow! This suit would actually replace cars so fast. 110 kilometers. That's amazing. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. Ah, it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. So I presume you're a scientist then. Those look like masks. Quite a big masks. Masks, though. Um, oh, almost missed these. Can't go in there. That sunlight. So beautiful. Sathura's Valley. Okay. Do I have a map or something? No, I don't think I do. I only have a compass. A compass. Continue search for life seed. Okay. I have to stop. 
See? Almost missed this one too. Because I've learned that you don't want to blindly run forward. No matter how tempting it, it would see. You don't want to run forward impatiently. I really don't want to take lies from those. I really don't. We're quite friendly though. I'll we'll probably get frightened if I ever took a life from one of them. Whoa, that was a big one. That's an endless fall. What was that? The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. Also, that's what it is. I do have an energy meter. A light meter, I should say. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Give life back to dead plants or animals to revitalize the valley. Oh, so it's that easy. Well, but that makes this so that it's next to impossible for me to actually die and get game over a full game over it would actually also mean that probably mean that if I act if I take life if I actually take life then I will also lose energy in the process. Probably. Oh. of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, once every thousand years the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So the tree produces a life seed? If so, it seems to be a lie. Follow the Titan Tree's roots to activate all of the obelisks. I have to stop, actually. So, those are the obelisks, I pursue. Wow! Wow, what a view! Holy! Holy Cerberus! This is beautiful! This is really beautiful!
note from Virginia King. Snake trees are common in myth mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in Christian belief, the Tree of Life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin causing its fall. Yeah, there are a lot of such things in the... Religions. But, unfortunately, I am out of time. I don't want to use that right now. I'm actually out of time. So, I don't know how the safe system in this game though. I hope it stays automatically. If not, then I'll, then I'll just have to play up to this point again. Oh, so this is what travel is. Okay, so I can actually go back if I want to. Just checking. I guess there is no. Okay, so, so far this game is very interesting actually, to me at least. So, We'll see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. Check out my previous Let's Play videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.